There is nothing new under the sun. Truth is eternal. It has always been here and it always will be here. The problem is that the government controlled mainstream media wants us to associate that which is new or the news in other words with that which is true and as we all should know by this point in time nothing could be further from the truth the news isn't telling us what is true it is just presenting that which is quote unquote new to us so we you know want to latch on to the new stuff this is a mind control technique okay it doesn't matter whether something is new or not or whether it's been around for eternity all that matters is whether it is true what we are in the midst of right now at this point in human history is a socially engineered perceived crisis see the crisis that we are in is highly orchestrated and it's a managed large-scale event it's designed to steer the mental perceptions of large amounts of the population in a specific direction which is specifically dictated by the social engineers of our world. In other words, the ruling class of our world, the mind controllers of our world, the dark occultists of our world. This is a perception management crisis. This crisis of perception is designed to create fear, trauma, cowardice, inaction, mistrust, and that is because people still tune into the talking heads on the mainstream media they still are listening to what so-called experts have to say and believing and hanging on their every word as truth, okay? And they're falling into a consciousness of fear and division as a result. Nothing has really changed in the last several decades, really the last several centuries or several millennia. People are still easily led and easily mind controlled by the social engineer ruling class. So the mainstream media, they're telling people whatever the ruling class wants them to think and believe, and it's working beautifully because consciousness has still not evolved to a level of understanding that these people are paid liars and they are trying to steer human consciousness in the direction that the ruling class wants it to go. But the media is doing its job of instilling fear into the human population. A small percentage of people aren't buying it. And they are trying to put out an alternative narrative. And then as a result, the ruling class is trying to block that narrative from being understood by the majority of people. The majority of people are television watchers. They're still tuning into the mainstream nightly news for their information and government websites for their related websites for their information. And unfortunately, that means that most of them are buying into this perceived crisis, this perceived managed socially engineered crisis we have to disconnect from that mainstream information and take information in from a wide and eclectic variety of sources before coming to a conclusion about what is really taking place and by applying a true truth discovery methodology namely the trivium to understand what's really happening most people aren't doing that they're acting from a place of belief my question to the viewing audience to help you guys who are mostly awake to what is taking place, I want you to understand what your work is to do. And most people still really don't understand what your great work is to do. It isn't just to absorb information. It's to understand how many asleep people there are out there and go to work on trying to wake them up by putting information out into the world. Far too few people are doing that. How many people in the world still completely believe the official government and mainstream media narrative? I say it's far upwards of over 95% of the population. And why? Why is that? It's because we as allegedly conscious people aren't doing our work that we are here to do. And sadly, most people haven't transitioned from a place of knowledge into a place of right action applying that knowledge in the right way that's what the great work is to do folks and more people have to understand that that's what the great work is and start doing it not just talking about you know i'm awake or i know what's going on you know and just be being satisfied with the knowledge that you have but transitioning that into right action through teaching others not just shying away and saying oh you have your perspective you have to put the word out there the universe is spoken into existence. The more we speak the truth out into the world, the more the reality around us will change because people's 
Behavior is based upon their perception. And if we start to inform their perception, their behavior will change for the better and the world will change for the better as a result. That's how our reality collectively in the aggregate is actually built. These people are in a cult. Stop sugarcoating the words. It's, it's not just their perspective. It's a managed perspective that is socially engineered to drive behavior in a certain direction by the dark occultists who rule our society. That is the definition of inculcating people into a cult belief system. And most of them are right there. And here are the characteristics of their mindset. Blind belief without verification through a real truth discovery methodology. They listen to the news, they listen to the government narrative, they listen to the mainstream media narrative, and they accept it on blind faith. They have no first-hand knowledge, whether scientifically or with life experience, of anything that is actually happening. They simply accept what is being told to them. They have no actual skepticism of quote-unquote officials and quote-unquote experts. They'll say that they're skeptical people, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are actually true believers. Because if an official says it, or an expert says it, well then it absolutely must be true, and it doesn't require the application of my skepticism or actual independent research. I could just accept it on my blind faith. And the final characteristic of this mindset, non-believers of their cult belief system must be shamed those who don't accept their worldview and don't accept their version of the narrative that is being pushed off onto us by the mainstream media, they have to be shamed and have their rights taken away. And it's time for us to speak up about this and say we're not going to accept it. Another part of these true believers' mindset is the belief in a superior class. They believe that the dogmatic experts that are telling us what we must believe and that we have no other choice to believe this narrative are comprise a superior class of human beings to the average person. They are the mainstream media, the governors and government agents and people, you know, in positions of power. And then so-called experts and pundits, you know, from non-governmental organizations that really don't even have uh, true, you know, experience in, in any fields of research that they are alleged that they have. But see, this isn't just belief in a superior class, ladies and gentlemen. What it really is, it's a belief in a master class. That's really what it is. Let's not mince words and give euphemisms even. It's not just that they think these people are superior to other people. It's they think that there are masters. That's what this worldview really is all about. They believe that the master class has the quote-unquote right to command others. This is part of this cult mentality. Imagine people like the governors of different states in the United States believing that they are our commanders, our governors, our controllers, that they can dictate by their voice alone and the stroke of a pen what people may or may not do in their own lives. Imagine they think they're kings and rulers and masters of other people. And people believe this claim that's called authority in government. It's the belief that the master class has the right to command others. See, what people, the logical fallacy that the average human being makes, and even some people in the so-called alleged freedom movement, it's no such thing as the freedom movement, they believe in this thing called authority, but they never actually take a step back and apply the behavior in question to themselves. This is what you have Apply to do. The Take the in question, back. namely, the right to command other people, the right to rule others, the right to dictate to others, to yourself. Imagine, do you believe you have that right to go out and command others what they may do in, in their lives? Regardless of what health condition may be present or not. You believe you are the commander and ruler of other people? If you're really being honest with yourself, you don't think you're the ruler or commander of others? Well, then how did other people get that right if no one themselves as an individual has it? And it is true. No one has that right. When we want to really look at it, get down to the bottom level of it, the problem is people's ego is in the way from understanding this. They don't want to admit that they were wrong. They don't want to admit that they were duped. And that's what the force of the out-of-control ego is. It's people's heart and ego and their rigid dogmatic belief system actually blocks them from seeing hearing and understanding and acknowledging the truth that no one has the right to command others. 
the you apply the behavior to yourself this belief that a master class has the right to rule and command others and inevitably if you are being honest with yourself you will come to the conclusion that ultimately there is no such right no one has the right to command others no one as an individual has the right to command others so this right cannot be granted to or delegated to anyone else in the world that makes the whole concept of government become instantly illegitimate morally illegitimate on its face there is no such thing as the moral right to rule or command others and anybody who thinks that there is such a right is under an illusion of a diseased mind their mind is sick and they are under a religious cult delusion and that is how we have to say it to them people don't want to hear that but it's irrelevant whether they don't want to hear it we have the right to speak it because it is the truth there is no such thing as the right to command the problem is they're trying to reverse it and say we don't have the right to challenge that through our speech